What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today I'm going to be bringing you another Capsash Run exploit that you can use in Fallout 76. Now, nobody really knows about this so it's going to be great. You're not going to have to worry about having to reload your server several times to get them to spawn in. So hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy this video. I have a bigger video planned for tomorrow. I just need some more time to edit it but you can expect that tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video or just find it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so to do this exploit, you are going to have to come to the Nuka-Cola factory. Now, if you don't know where this is, it's kind of located south of Vault 76. It's kind of in this like little river area, it's surrounded by a whole bunch of other towns. It's really that not that hard to miss, but when you fast travel here, you're going to spawn exactly where I do. Just come across this bridge, and at the Nuka-Cola sign, you're going to want to head and take a right. And heading up here, this is going to be our first cap stash. It's kind of a bit of a walk for your first time. I'm sorry if it's... Not the fastest, but it's definitely one of the better ones just because nobody really knows about it. And these have the most common spawn points. But the first one is going to be in this little shed here. In this little terminal that's broken is going to be your first cap stash. Now, if you're going to be doing this, I definitely recommend you upgrade your cap collector as high as you can. Because this is going to greatly improve the outcome of how much caps you get whenever you open those stashes. But continue just going up these stairs here where I go. It's pretty simple to follow. Just kind of follow where I go in the video and go down here into the Nuka-Cola plant itself. Once you spawn in here, take a left at this door, keep going straight, and you're going to be in this like little factory area. And it could get confusing in here, but try to go up these stairs, and in this room right here to your left, there is going to be your second cap stash, located kind of in these lockers right here. Now, from this point on, there may be occasions where you do have to take out some ghouls because they definitely are in this plant here. But from this location on, there's going to be another cap stash in this room. Just keep following where I go. You're going to be going straight and then taking a left at this little door up here. It's kind of hidden, but it's really not that hard to find. Once you get in here, just keep going straight down this hallway. And you're going to want to do a little bit of climbing here on this, like, little forklift thing. Um, once you get on this little, like, catwalk stair area, keep going up the stairs. I kind of got distracted by some duct tape there, but keep going straight. Keep going up the stairs as far as you can at the very end of the little catwalk there is going to be another cap stash and that is going to make cap stash number three now continue on just jump down from the catwalk if you can or if you really want to you can go all the way around like i did i don't really know why i did that but i think i just showed you guys for the sake of the video um go left from here and there is going to be some ghouls i had to take out but there is going to be a like little red door and inside that red door there's going to be two blue doors so you can go through to appalachia but once you get out from here Go up this catwalk and keep going up the stairs all the way up to the roof of the factory. And there is going to be a fusion core spawn um, occasionally, so that's always a plus to this. Now, keep going straight from there. You can choose to take that if you don't want to. But to your right, right here, there is going to be a door you can lock pick. It only requires skill level 1, so everybody should be able to do it. It's really not that hard to do. But once you unlock this door, you are going to see your fourth cap stash. It's located just on the edge of the desk right here. And that is going to make cap stash number five. Now, from this point on, you are going to want to just leave this room, and there is going to be your final cap stash up on the roof here. Just keep going straight. Um, I guess just keep following where I go on the video. You really can't get lost up here, but it's going to be at the very end of this roof here. Continue down this long walkway, and to your left right here is going to be your final cap stash in this locker right here that you can take, and it is the fifth and final one. But that is pretty much all for today's exploit, guys. If at any point in this video you did enjoy it or find it helpful, it would mean a lot if you considered liking and subscribing because it helps out the channel a lot. But without further ado, I'll quit wasting your guys' time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.